Hi everybody. You know, um, somebody asked us to do a video on these uh, Collings. They make an I-30, which is kind of a copy of a 330, a Gibson 330, and they make an I-35, which is a copy of a ES-335. The, the, there's a lot of differences between the two, just in far as quality and um, how invested Collings is in every step of the process instead of being uh, like a major factory, they're probably 10% of Gibson's output. They just don't put out that many guitars. Um, these I-30s are fully hollow just like on Gibson 330 and uh, they're also an inch shorter this way so they're a little easier to wear and that brings the controls in a little closer for you to and your pinky to be close to the volume and tone controls on it. Now, I have two of them, right? I just got this. This is kind of their standard and a rather unusual color, and uh, this has Lawler P90s in it, and this one has throwbacks in it. Now, throwbacks are kind of a high-end, end-of-the-line pickup. Uh, they're not cheap, and what you get out of throwbacks is a, a little more detail. Um, what you get out of the Lollers, they're a little more forward. They're, they're going to hit the amp a little differently. Right now, I'm playing through this... Um, my favorite uh, amplifier of the week is this Magnetone 15 watt, which is kind of a hand-wired Marshall thing. And I want to show you trestle bracing. I'm borrowing this photo from Jazz Guitar Magazine, but this is an image of trestle bracing. So um, you can see that these feet are attaching the front and back. And in this is a Gretsch trestle braced in Collings. Um, Collings actually does the trestle bracing a little differently. They're really trying to pull the, the block and the tailpiece and you can feel the definition in the neck. There's a lot of response in your hand. Now, if I might just read, I normally don't do this, but uh, our, our goal for the I-30 was to take the concept of a double cutaway full hollow and refine it to the extent that it offers something truly new. Uh, it's one of the most acoustically responsive and versatile electric guitars we've ever offered. That's saying a lot. Um, the lightweight trestle brace body of the AI-30 has been refined with extensive research and is the distillation of knowledge gleaned from the popular I-35. The trestle brace directly couples the neck and tail block creating exceptional strength and acoustical energy transference. And again, you can really feel it in your hand. It allows for a lightweightness, and that's the other thing. If you like lightweight guitars, these things are a feather. Um, and responsiveness that's tactile and a musical joy to experience. You can easily feel the uh, acoustic energy through the uh, symmetrical arches and recurves of the top and back. These plates have been custom laminated, voiced for tonality that is an acoustic guitar-like in its resonance and its dynamic response, but focused and feedback resistant. I'm going to say that again, feedback resistance. A Gibson uh, 330 is not feedback resistant. Um, and then our new custom design tailpiece provides just the right amount of give for a relaxed string feel and effortless player playability. Um, a wide palette of tones, rich jazzy warmth to 60s British Invasion style chime. Um, this is These are really, they're laminated guitars, but they make their own laminations. And the, the P90s are great because if you turn them down, I'm going to turn this to about eight. And turning it up to ten. this with the Lollers, that what you just heard is the throwbacks, which are more money, 
and arguably uh, something that a, a vintage guy might like because it'll have more definitions. So I'll try to play something similar here. We'll turn this up. I'll turn it back to eight. <laughs> time if you will. Now if you come in and make an appointment we'll sit you down and you can play through. We'll just keep handing you one guitar after the other and you can try this. <laughs> guitars right now have a wound G and speaking of feedback resistance I'm gonna hold this up to the amplifier and it doesn't squeal if you had a 330 this would squeal I'll even push the volume a little bit here and push the gain a little bit now with the gain and right in front of the speaker that's a little unfair but finest guitar out there. They're not looking for a price point. They're not looking to fit it into, you know, we need a $2,000 guitar. They've always been in the same mindset. The finest woods cured properly, using the woods and reading the woods as you cut the woods, bracing it properly, lots of research and development. Bill Collings um, didn't have to worry about money. Uh, he came from a wealthy family and he focused a lot on quality and you can see it and feel it and hear it. You can see the trestle bracing. There's those footings come right underneath the bridge. There's another footing that is part of the tail block and even with the guitar off, these guitars are really resonant. You can feel it in your fingers. These guitars are aged, but they don't do the age like Gibson and Fender do. They just, they kind of scruffy it up just a little bit so you don't have to feel too self-conscious. Now, we do, we have an I-35 that just came in. We'll do that later, but um, that is not aged. But both of these are slightly aged. The, the hardware is slightly aged, and the guitar is one of those things that you just don't really worry about. Um, fingerprints and stuff. The black is rather elegant. The size, the size of it is really comfortable. And the responsiveness, the touch.
feeds back in a good way. All right, so I, just bringing these in, my last thing I'm going to say about Collings, we're ordering some guitars into 2025 right now, and if you'd like to get an order in, you can order exactly what you want. But do come in and try these out. If you're looking for not anything but the best, something that's really a design to be all of it, a musical instrument, not a replica, just a really gorgeous musical instrument, tapered headstocks. There's so much. You could spend an hour on just the headstock of these. I'm going to tell you, this guitar with the Lollers in this finish is $8,000. This guitar is $77, okay? So, um, there you go. Y'all come back. I'm going to sit and play this for a while, but you guys go back to what you're doing. Thank you.